funny story about my mum is that when I used to write letters home, she would send the letters back to me uh, with the spelling mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> corrected, which is a very Nigerian thing to do. In Manchester, four strangers have come together in search of fame in the family. Hi. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, Martin, Martin O'Fire. Martin O'Fire, rugby league legend playing for Widnes Wigan in England, who scored over 500 tries during his long playing career. It would be great to uh, understand a little bit more about my genetic makeup. Quite exciting to go on this voyage of discovery. You know, learn more about your family tree and fill in a, a couple of the blanks and be the one with some information for once, because normally I'm the one who's getting fed stuff. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Show us your treasures. Show us your treasures is a chance for the diners to share stories of their relatives. This is a picture of my mother and father before I was born, maybe early 60s. My dad was a very learned man. My mum, she was a school teacher. I went to boarding school and a funny story about my mum is that when I used to write letters home, she would send the letters back to me uh, with the spelling mistakes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Corrected, which is a very Nigerian thing to do. Which... A lot of my friends at school thought that was hilarious. I, on the other hand, uh, wasn't that chuffed with it, but I could see where the intention was, you know, for me to be better. I was given this uh, by my parents. This uh, fan was part of um, me uh, acquiring what was known as an Ozo title, which is like a big chief, as they say back there. Uh, you know, when you have come to a certain standing, maybe in business or for me, I suppose, in sport, my parents got me this title and they thought maybe I should have some standing back in Nigeria, yeah, since yeah, yeah. I have uh, you know, certain standing over here. <laughs> Yeah, so this uh, fan does hold huge sentimental value to me. Anybody else have seen one of these before? Know anything oh, about? yeah, I've seen many. My grandfather had that type too. Okay. So he had one, but his own was the one, you know, the ones that have like the horse feathers. Hair. The horse hair. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He the had that flies. one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Does anybody recognise these people? That is my nan and granddad. Oh, yeah. So that's why I said a lot for like the same. Like, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Literally just the exact same. <laughs> the picture of his mum and dad looked like my nana and granddad. So who knows? <laughs> so my great grandmother, and this is one of four daughters, and these are her two grandchildren. The bracelet that she has on there are those. Wow. Um, they're like French Creole bracelets, which is a very traditional thing back in the Caribbean. I'm the fourth generation to have the bracelets. Have you got anyone to hand them down to? Yes, my daughter. <laughs> Just not yet. <laughs> not yet. No, not yet. LD's great grandmother, I think that was taken from the 1920s. And they're all very well turned out and immaculate. You know, taking a picture back then, it really did mean something. So, this is a passport photograph. That's my mama. She's 19 here. I do notice that the cheekbones that she has got. High quite cheekbones. high cheekbones, and that is something that has been prevalent and talked about in my family. She came over from Trinidad towards the end of the Windrush to study nursing, mm -hmm. and her mother was a midwife, so I think that when this call came, mm. Grandma thought, oh, you know, this is a good opportunity. It must have been a really sad time for her to be away from her family and mm. everything she knows. Mm. But, lo and behold, along came my daddy. <laughs> so where did she settle? He's a white boy from Essex. Mm. They ended up falling in love and she never went home. I can't even begin to imagine what it must have been like for our ancestors to come from foreign lands into a new world which wasn't always hospitable, but then still to act with dignity and work hard and build something for yourself. To our ancestors. To our ancestors. <laughs> to our ancestors, yeah.